Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so let's get started with inheritance. So let me create a new Java class and call it dirt car. Alrighty, so this dirt car basically, so let me give you some context of what this is and what's going on. So here we have a car class, right? And it has these uh, fields and these uh, methods. As you know, so these are all the methods. All right, now I want to have, let us say, a category of car. Uh, I'll call it a dirt car. That is what is the name of this class, all right, which you already know. So I want to have dirt car have all the properties of car. You see, this car has, you know, these fields and methods, and I want all of these methods and fields to be present in my dirt car class. And how do you think I would do it? Well, you have, you probably might say, okay, just start typing private, mileage, you know, just start typing whatever there is here and then incorporate it here. I mean, just copy paste it and it should be there and so on and so forth. You have, you might have an opinion of that sort, but so this inheritance thing is going to just avoid a whole bunch of work. Why? Let me explain. Uh, so let me just type this extends car. So here, uh, this is our dirt car and then it's extending the car class. All right, so far, uh, what is going on? You have some kind of a question in mind, but let me just clarify that. Uh, so one special feature of dirt car that is not present in the other cars are that, you know, this dirt car has, uh, let us say dirty, terrain speed all right okay so let me make this dirty terrain top speed so this dirt car usually goes into the dirty terrains and uh, it has a top speed so there is a specific there is an additional field in the dirt car that is not present in car that is what is this all right and since we have a field and it's obviously in the previous video we discussed we, why we should make this private. So anyway, uh, I made it private. Private and dirty terrain top speed uh, is the uh, field name. And let's set up getters and setters for dirty terrain top speed. Okay, so right click, generate, getters and setters. So here we have uh, getters and setters for uh, dirty terrain top speed and then this is the dirt car. So far I hope it's all clear. You might be wondering then why do we have this extends car? Now I'll, I'll explain the usage when we come to here. Okay, this time what I'm going to do is, this time I'm going to say dirt car uh, and say Let's give some name for a dirt car. Let's say dirty, uh, what, dirty Benz? <laughs> I don't know if Benz has a dirt car, I don't. Anyway, for the sake of our explanation, that's fine. Dirt car equals dirty Benz. Uh, dirt car, dirty Benz equals new dirt car. That's it. We have just created a dirty Benz, which is an instance of the dirt car. All right. Let's get going. Now, if I say dirty bends dot, ha, huh, what is that? It's giving me options to get the mileage, get the price, set the mileage. Come on, this dirty bends never had any get mileage. Did you, do you, I mean, can you, you can clearly see that, you know, it doesn't have a set mileage, get mileage, you know, all those methods are not present here, but why is IntelliJ allowing me to do all of that? So you probably know the answer. So that is because of this extends car, uh, which we have used. Extends is the way you implement inheritance. So dirty bands set mileage. Uh, let's say dirty bands mileage is, I don't know, because it's a terrain car, let's call it six. So we have set uh, the mileage of dirty bends as six. All right, 
So now there are certain other para, you know, parameters that we have to take care of. So dirty bends are uh, door. Set the doors for dirty bends. How many doors does it have? Uh, two, right? Uh, one uh, for the driver and the other one for the co-driver. That's it. Now we have uh, dirty bends. Uh, we can actually uh, mileage, doors, price. All right, we can even set the price. That's pretty interesting. So this is a heck of a expensive car. So I'll make it 250K. I don't know. It's an expensive dirty bends. All right, so we are now trying to add a proprietary property which is set terrain set dirty terrain top speed now here the thing here is the thing so this is the only line that is coming from our dirt car class because we are only use we are only using dirty terrain top speed uh, the getter and setter for both of that and uh, so this is the only line that's coming from our dirt car all these uh, lines are coming from where are coming from our car which is pretty interesting right so a lot of less work in the dirt car because we didn't just write whole bunch of code copying and pasting from car so that is the power of inheritance so dirty uh, terrain top speed okay so let's uh, do this uh, what is the top speed for dirty terrain? Uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know, 45 miles an hour? It's up to you. Anyway, so that is the uh, exhibiting factor for uh, inheritance. So let's try and pump out all these values. So s out system.out.println dirty every time I do this mistake dirty bends is a uh, mileage is what is dirty bends is mileage come on guys what's that so it's going to be dirty bends dot get mileage right all right now let me just copy and paste 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 so dirty bends is a uh, door count how many doors does uh, dirty bends have is dirty bends dot get doors aha uh -huh, simple dirty bends is mileage is this time we are going to say dirty bends is price is dirty bends dot what get price great dirty bends is terrain Top speed. What is dirty Benz's terrain top speed? Is dirty Benz dot get terrain top speed. So dirty Benz's get terrain top speed is the value that uh, is going to be displayed when we call dirty Benz dot get dirty terrain top speed. And so far we are good, right? And let me comment this all these lines out and if we run anyway since we are not using it anyhow uh, let's run the main method so here we have awesome right so it's uh, 6 2 250 grand and 45 which is pretty cool if you ask me why because we didn't write all the code for uh, you know setting the mileage getting the mileage and all of those kind of things so that is the uh, basic introduction to inheritance so I hope it makes sense for you when you try to inherit uh, because when you when you're just using all of the content from a parent class it's just awesome to make use of all of these so now I want to talk a little bit more of uh, you know uh, inheritance concept specifically what is known as the uh, super keyword super keyword all right so let's talk about this for a second now super is basically as simple as it could get the super is referring 
referring referring uh, the car class basically it's referring the parent class right who is the parent class in in in, in our context uh, the parent class is the car class so this is the guy all right now if i say something like uh, okay so let me just create a function called uh, public void okay uh, let me do this a string public string uh, start dirt car okay and i'm not passing any argument into it but all I'm trying to do here is I'm calling super dot start okay super dot car start that's it so basically what's going on is uh, super dot car start oh and by the way let me return this okay so it says super dot car start is a wide all right let's make this wide What's going on here? Um, wide. And by the way, I won't edit this video. Uh, I want to show you what kind of mistakes I run into, so you'll also be able to uh, fix the issues with, uh, with you know whatever you find. Uh, anyway, cannot return a value from a method with wide result type. Can you tell me what's going on here? If you tell me. Hopefully, I'll send you a chocolate in your mailbox. <laughs> I know the reason what is going on here is this car start is a void method. All right, so let's make this a string. And we'll return system instead of doing print ln, let's say car started. That's it. And if we get to a dirt car back, let's make this a string again that's it so um so basically this we are not worried about you know uh the return types here or we are trying to focus on the inheritance concept specifically the super keyword all right now this uh start dirt car is a method present inside the dirt car but notice what's going on Notice that we are calling super dot car start. Basically, what we are doing is uh, we are trying to say super dot car start. But I want to do a small addition so it becomes unique for a dirt car. Dirt car is, and then let's concatenate it with super dot car start. So here car started okay so let's just keep it like that okay dirt car status is okay so basically you should recognize that super is a keyword that is trying to refer to the parent it's all simple as it could get this is the most simplest thing I could say for you when it comes to super now let us try to make use of this method all right now what I'm trying to do in the end is I would say dirty bends dot start dirt car and end it with a semicolon. So what can you expect? Basically, if I control click this uh, method, it is pointing me here. All right, so let's try and run this method. Aha, dirty bends dot start dirt car didn't show up here. Can you tell me why? because we didn't put it in an s out statement s out dirty bands dot start car now it should work you see dirt car status is car started so basically uh, the whole concept of uh, making use of this uh, inheritance is number one you can directly make use of whatever is present in the parent class number two you can use uh, a super keyword that refers to the parent class uh, so that you don't have to over and again uh, 
just type the same old code uh, to do the same old thing. So it's a great idea to uh, make use of super keyword when and where possible. And then uh, you can actually make use of the super keyword even during constructors as well. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is, uh, first of all, let's first create a constructor here. Uh, you know what? I am not trying to do it in this video. Let's uh, do it in the next upcoming video so I don't run into a lengthy video. All right, so have a good day. Uh, just keep watching these videos. Uh, and if you have a question, comment me. I'll try to respond as quick as possible. And uh, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Thank you.